Hi everyone, welcome back to another NHL season preview. I'm Adam Stalker. We're talking about the Carolina Hurricanes today, and this is a team that missed out on the playoffs last season, uh, switching obviously the East, gaining Detroit and uh, Columbus, and Carolina could be an even tougher struggle to make the playoffs. Up front, they're led by their captain, Eric Stahl, and his younger brother, Jordan, at the strength up the middle. While on the wing, they have high scoring Jeff Skinner, the electric sh short stature winger. He's probably one of the most under. If he was playing in a bigger market, he would be one of the most hyped players. A guy who could be on the Canadian Olympic team. He's that kind of talent as a goal scorer. Their big offseason acquisition last season was signing Alexander Semin. They signed him to a big extension uh, last season. And that didn't really work out immediately following it. He sort of went in the tank. So we'll be to see how he plays in his first full season in that new extension. In the draft, they picked Elias Lindholm uh, with their pick. I believe that was fifth overall. Uh, a pick they were trying to trade, actually. They ended up trading... They're trying to trade Buffalo. They ended up trading the second round, trading Jamie McBain, defenseman, for Andre Sakira, who's a very good all-around defenseman, can play him out in any situation, good cap hit of 275, and a guy who can play power play, good puck moving defenseman, can also kill penalties. Great top four defenseman, not a top pairing guy, but a great second pairing guy. Their top line pairing will be uh, Tim Gleason, a long time uh, player there. He's been there since they won the cup. Ron Hainsey, who they signed from Winnipeg, a guy who's been a stalwart in that Atlanta Winnipeg place, but uh, team, but never really made it over the hump. They just um, t former top pick Ryan Murphy looks to crack the team in his first full season with the squad. He's got potential, but I don't think he'll ever be a top pairing guy. I think he'll be an elite third defenseman, a guy who's uh, has some offensive upside, but he's prone to making some poor passes and turn over the puck. They have um, the, one of the ultimate reclamation projects, the defenseman Mike Komisarek, who signed a big five-year, um, $4.5 million per year contract with the Maple Leafs. They bought him out. He goes down to Carolina, signs a one-year $700,000 contract. He should bounce back. He's a big body who can block shots, take up space, physical presence. Other guys on that blue line, Justin Falk, who's a young defenseman out of St. Paul's, Minnesota, and Jay Harrison, who's been there a few years. Uh, the strength, though, for their, their defense is going to be this play of Cam Ward. He's going to make up for a lot of their, la their um, deficiencies in not having a number one shutdown defenseman. Uh, behind him is Justin Peters, who's a good backup, and Anton Kabobin, who did a good job as a backing up to Rask last year. But obviously, if you're Carolina, you want to see Cam Ward play as many as 70 games this year because that's your best chance of winning. We continue looking up front and we look at the bottom six now, their defensive forwards. They have uh, Brent Sutter and Yuri Tolusti who are make up the majority of their third line with Tumo Rutu back this year after injury. And they signed Nathan Gerby, another guy who's bought out by the Sabres to come in there. Could provide a spark. Yes, he's the smallest player in the NHL, but he He's not afraid to get his nose dirty. So it'd be interesting to see how he bounces back his uh, second year following back surgery. Overall, though, this just isn't a great team. You have Stahl, Eric Stahl and Skinner and Semin. That's your top line. But after that, there's just no offensive scoring. You look at Lindholm, probably not ready at 18 to have much of an impact. Jordan Stahl's never been a great offensive talent. I mean, sure, he's scored 30 goals, but... It helps when you're playing with the guys he was on Pittsburgh. Um, he's more of a defensive forward than a goal scorer. Yori Tulitsky's never lived up to the offensive hype he had when Toronto picked him in the mid-teens uh, several years ago. So I, overall, it's a team that misses out on the playoffs. So it ends up in no man's land where you're not good enough for the playoffs, but you're just missing the playoffs. And I think it's going to be another year where the Hurricanes come back uh, to go to the draft and are disappointed that they're not picking an elite talent at the top end of the draft. That's my preview for the Carolina Hurricanes. Thanks for watching.